Bobbin' Song. Go, go, boop, Woody and Bobbin' Song. Watch 
to it because we laid at the gate. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together right now, man. The one and only living legend is in the building, Rich. One of the number one lead poppers of all time. Put your hands together right now. Y'all see the name on the shirt, man. I wore it twice. That's so, <laughs> so nice. <laughs> <laughs> put your hands together. Two Fly Tie is in the building right yeah. now, man. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Hey, hey bro, what's good, baby? We ain't talking about what you want to talk about. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> this dude, ladies and gentlemen. start off nice. You're gonna build this shit up. No, nah, I'm alright, man. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. You, you, you know, you're my brother from another mother, man. And one thing about me and this dude, man, we, we've been through trials and tribulations. We've been through the voyages. We've been through the valleys. We've been. <laughs> they already know, man. Ain't nothing we gonna have, no. <laughs> this dude here got history, man, because um, I'm, uh, let me tell y'all a quick story, real quick. Coming up, when I was with Central Groove, our first band ever, um, it was one band that we, we, we patented our style after. Everybody did it, you know, for essence, you had to trouble folks to eat these back then. But we, what we did, man, we tried to be like class band and show. For real, and that's, that's no talk, man. We emulated their style, and it took us to another level. We propelled this go-go game. But if it wasn't for the guys like Toddy, Mo, Spanky, a go-go sax, Bones, uh, 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 Tom Tom, Bobby, uh, uh, Joel, uh, uh, rest in peace, Steve. As I can see, I, I'm naming the whole band. So, so you know I know my history with this band right here, Class Band. This is one of my number one all favorite global bands of all time. And this guy right here to me is one of the goats in this game. One more time, y'all, for Tidy, man. He's in the building. Uh, 
We're looking forward to this, this big old party. It's Sunday night, right, sir? Yes, Sunday night, man, and we're going to celebrate his life. We're going to celebrate his, his, his birthday. Uh, baby boy, man, we're we going to have fun that night, man, on Sunday, man. I'm going to ball, sir. What, what, you, what you looking forward to, man? I don't need no gifts. No, we no gifts. Just bring yourself. That's all we need. Bring yourself? Bring yourself in the building. That's all we need. Yeah, and um, we're going to give it to Gogo Spanky all night long. <laughs> you, 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 know how you, you know how you do with the Congo players. One, yeah. thing, one, I got, one thing I got to say about you, man, is certain rappers, and Lee talk nice that can give it to Congo players a certain way, mm. he might be the best ever at doing it. Mm. And that's, that's real talk. Because everybody gives it to the Congo players. You know that. I appreciate that, man. And with, but with you, you just had a gift for giving it to your Congo players. Well, now, let me ask you a question. I don't. Why you sitting here next to, to your brother? I don't know. Out of all the Congo players you play with, uh -huh. who was your favorite one giving it to? Javi. There you go. Huh? Oh, man. Huh? You know why? Because this is what happened. When I first got this, y'all got to realize something. I was a central group. I was a free agent, right? And I got a call one day. And my mother was in the kitchen. Somebody named Tidy on the phone. I said, huh? Mm -hmm. Somebody named Tidy on the phone. I said, Tidy? I don't need no one Tidy. Mm -hmm. I got on the phone, hello? What, what's up, bruh? You, you, you trying to play with AR? Man, I dropped the phone, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Right. What? Huh. I said, huh? You trying to play with AR? I said, as an air raid? And I knew he was an air raid. He said, yeah. But wasn't you still with Central Groove then? Or? Mm -hmm. No, I left Central Groove. Oh, okay. No, actually, we had broke up. Rick okay. went on to play with High Cold Sweat. Okay. And um, Toddy and them, you know, they had a mob over there with Air Raid. Mm -hmm. And I already knew about the mob. And well. it's so funny because I was saying to myself, man, man if I could get with these dudes, man. Mm -hmm. Because I knew I couldn't be fucked with anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so I okay. said, if I got with this dude right here, mm -hmm. he's he going to be in a Congo player. There's, there's certain individuals that you wanted to play with. But I know he's gonna work me, and I like to work. When he said you trying to get with AR, I was like, I dropped the phone. My mother seen me drop the phone. What the hell wrong with you? I picked it back up. I said, man, when is practice and where is it at? He told me, man, I start crying, man. I hung up and start crying. So what? What was Mickey at? Then uh, where are you? Oh, he was oh, okay. But okay. I was only his only competition, really. Okay. What about he, him? He he wasn't. Man, father somewhere with. Hollywood somewhere, man. He was on the bus. He could have got this work too, though. Okay. He could have got this work. <laughs> okay. He could have got this work. Mm -hmm. But that's how I was feeling at the time. I let all my victims talk. Is that a challenge? Is that a challenge? Mm -hmm. Hey, my dad say, if you step over on that line there, let me say it. You're in Fox Trap. Let me say it. You're in Fox Trap. Yeah, but, 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 one, but one thing about it though, who's in the fox trap? Right? That's one of my idols over there. But once, once, once my man right here, once my man right here said friggin' he got beat, I don't care who was in my way. Word. Uh oh. Here I come, man. See, that, that's why I like the legends, man. The legends go at it, man, yeah, without man. no animosity or none of that. No man. holes no, 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 no. You know? Because Toddy will tell you, man, because I came in the game, man, like. Fuck that, whoever. Let's go. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But I gotta say, man, this dude over here, a problem. Uh, Mickey a problem. Uh, Battle of the legends. Jungle man. Boogie was a problem. <laughs> I was a problem. Yeah, I ain't played the same stuff back in the day either. Yeah. Everybody played something different. Battle of the old you know, school, man. You, you know gotta what, have you know something like that. You know man. what I'm tired of you, man? You know. This is all about you tonight, man. And um, we gonna we do this all the time. Me and him and Mickey, we, we do this all the time. You know, Rock City was a prop. Mm -hmm. We do this all the time. But the thing about this dude right here, he played with all the top dudes. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the way he dropped them, dropped them pockets and stockers, man, wasn't nobody fucking with that. Nobody. From Air Raid to, to, to Class Band to now, Deja Vu to uh, what's the other band? Uh, Style, but I used to hate it. Oh, it was some band you played with, man. I didn't like y'all at all. You said, uh, Oh, oh y'all suck. Who? 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 <laughs> Sean Bay Bay. Sean Bay the Box was playing drums. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> I was so mad that you were playing behind him. Yeah, I started off playing with him. Um, now, back in the we going to go back in the day, day? No, we're going to do that. Were you just playing strictly trumpet? Oh, God. 
That was Black Love. Yeah, man, it? take it back to the beginning, man. Like back in the day when I played trumpet, I was like, oh, I don't think that was Black Love. Was it Black Love? Nah, I ain't playing nothing with Black Love. You played with who? Do you play with Beastie? I played with Beastie once. Oh, Pop Blender, two shows. Blender. No, that's two shows. That was. That put, was like, put it like this. He was he was doing a lot of bands favors. We do, we do. Yeah, I I ain't rap with him. You didn't play with the Pop Blenders, man. No, no, no. Beastie had uh, Beastie Brothers. Oh, that's way back in the day. That's back in the 60s, back. ain't it? Oh, Hell no, man. <laughs> Are you ready for the one and only? <laughs> hey, 10 p.m. Ain't never too. We sit here with two fly tie, as you can see. Legend, man. And, um, how does it feel to be a legend, bro? Well, you know, you know it's, it's a little different when, um, well, the old cats, you know, we don't look at ourselves as legends. We got so just people that put well, they call me a legend, but I'm calling you a legend. Uh, that, that's, that, that's cool. Because the thing about you, bro, that you brought to the stage and still brings to the stage is you had that something. You know, Fox, you can vouch, man. You had something different with you, bro. You, you was like a little Benny. Right. A funk. I mean, I and one. I, I checked out a lot of, back then when I was young, man, there was a lot of, Talkers out there, man. But right. You, know, you, when you get on the mic, it seems like you just float with it. You know what to say. And plus, you, about you put you put it out there. You put it out there, and people hear it, and people go at it. You know, you th you have people in the palm of your hands. I mean, uh, you, you always like that. Now, Jerry Campbell. I know you heard Jerry. Mm -hmm. You know, Jerry was more funk and laid back. He was more mm -hmm. funky and laid back and said it all to me and everything like that. But when you turn around, you get to talking and everything. You can drop Spanky off in a heartbeat. Wow. I know, man. And it was oh, in there. I was like, uh, I don't baby, boogie on that. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, so, you know, when you shoot off like that, man, and turn on people hearing you, man, this is You know what my favorite thing you used to say? Uh, right on for so and so, so, right on. Right on for right on. You had your own fans, dog. And oh, yeah, we used to use that a lot. And people will never forget that about you, man. And, um, it's what was it, man? Did you, did, you used to, did you used to go home and like oh, go in the mirror and just no. practice no, what? in the mirror? No. Like I did. I ain't never do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, how did you get so shot with your craft? Man, I ain't get shot with my craft. I had to do I mean, basically, Bayshawn was playing. With class? With class down Eastern. And we was playing, we wasn't doing so good. So the uh, front of the stage kind of opened up. And it was just a, a lane right there. Right. So Benny told me to. Your mouth big and just say something. Loud, you know? right? And all I said was, you know, um, who's the real deal? Is is, is Southeast better than Northwest? Northwest right. better than Southeast? We start gravitating to the four guy pool. Steve basically uh, got rid of Bay Sean the next day. The next day. The next day I was at church. I was doing myself all sudden at church. So <laughs> who started that saying, though? What's that? Just Northwest? That, that, that joke. Yeah. EU. Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, I was a little bit. Oh, the real oh, deal. Oh, he, yeah. he, kill, he be saying that. It don't even be football season. <laughs> 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 it was the time that we started playing. <laughs> <laughs> we started playing before we can go to the next show. For real? Yeah, we played like two songs and turn around. Let's do ah. We know what to do. Okay, before right. we get out of here and go to the uh, next show. Uh, oh, we get to jump up and down and step on somebody's feet. feet. There you go. Bones on here chiming in on my live, too. You should be on Box Wave, though. But Bones here said Masterpiece. Man, you with that, man. I'm going to get you, though. I'm going to get you. <laughs> I'm going to get you. <laughs> the first band ever played for. Masterpiece? First band ever played for. Wow. There we go. They so who was in that band? Oh, God. Nobody. That you know now? Nobody who played on the scene. Oh, OK. When we got together, uh, <clears throat> they gave us a storage house. Actually, what it was was uh, where people put their furniture at. So we took all the cages out of there, took all that out of there, cleaned the floors. So we had a first floor, second floor, and third floor. Third floor we played on, second floor we lounged on. And uh, how many was y'all when uh, turn around? I be finished rapping and everything like that. You mm -hmm. step back and start dancing. How many of y'all in the front doing that? Five. Five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one so thing about playing that for. Bend down and get back up and. No, hey, 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 stop. Hey. I can look. <laughs> okay, it's, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be ready. I'm gonna be ready and willing to yeah, take the it. The timing was like this, man. Well, I was like, oh, about, okay, man. They doing the happy feet. I'm gonna give y'all a vocal lesson. Like, what the? Okay. And Ernest, say how much you hear to hear the recording. 
The top three bands in global history, I think, as far as stepping, was Red Essence, back in the little mini days, mm-hmm. Junkyard, mm-hmm. and Class Band, bruh. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's what Gogo is missing right now. Yeah, we always have. We, we man, always y'all steps was y'all yeah. steps was crazy, man. I don't, I don't know what happened now, but uh, <laughs> uh, we oh. still step. Uh, now we getting back into it though. But one thing about y'all steps, the, the the key element to y'all steps was like when when Squirt used to take that joint around and hit it on the one, it, it, it'd be like spanky or pop. Oh. It, I don't know what it was. Like Tidy be like, "Oh, spanky." <laughs> they just start. They just start. <laughs> Him, it was tidy. Gogo sax, bones, and Tony shot, man. Yeah. And them bands was. Was it four? That was four, yeah. There was four was that? Yeah. But y'all was like the Temptations of Gogo, man. It was on four. Because my first time seeing class was down, I'm going to take you back, Wasting Bingo Hall. Ooh. Wasting uh, Corner. You know about that? Well, yeah, my grandmother went there. Mm. Playing bingo, oh, right? You ain't got to keep that out there like that, though. But hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, my God. I can remember this night like it was yesterday. We was playing with Central Groove. Mm-hmm. And our manager, Eddie Best, God rest his soul. So we going at the practice. We going down uh, Waste and Bingo Hall. We like, Waste and Bingo Hall? What the hell is that? Seemed like we was going to North Carolina somewhere. On the way there, he like, I'm like, who we going to see? He said, some man called Class down there. Me and my brother was like, Class? Oh, shit. We never seen Class. We just heard a tape. You know, we we know we monitored our style, our style after. So when we got in the jump, we walked in. Tony Shop was singing "Lady, I Love You." Oh, Did you know Tony Shop then? Wow. Nope. Oh yeah. I didn't yeah. know Tony. I didn't okay. know Tony. I was just, I, see, I was a fan okay. of these guys. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I always wanted Spanky Spot. Even when I was in Central Groove, I'm like, I'm gonna play with class. Fuck y'all. <laughs> I'm just using y'all. Or, or, or. But um. <laughs> Walking that joint, Tony Shaw was singing uh, "Lady, I Love You." Moon Man over there to the left eating chips with a brown suit on. Oh my God! Um, packed house, man. You right, man. And I was faced because I seen the Central Group poster up in there. So we were supposed to come down there like two weeks later, or whatever. And we walked in. You know, Tony Shaw singing. I'm thinking you know, the whole time, you know, Michael Mute. That was Michael Mute for him or somebody. Mm-hmm. I seen Tony up there singing. I'm like, God damn! I was like, What the hell? This nigga sing better than Mike. Mm-hmm. You know, so then, uh, y'all come back on stage. Mm. Are you Man. still at high point when this was going on? I was in probably ninth grade, yeah, freshman. Oh, okay, okay. So they came out with y'all. I never forget it's like yesterday. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all second half, y'all. Tied got up there. So now I'm putting the faces with the voice now. Cause I never seen these guys. So I'm looking at t- you. Got really, I'm like a fan, like awestruck, like <laughs> starstruck. Huh? I'm like that's him. That's the one. That's Tidy. Then I see Gogo Sacks and Bones. And Bones found out later we was cousins. That's what's so crazy right. about that. Mm. So that's how they came back on, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man, I was just in it, like I was like. You'll be amazed. You'll be amazed. Them members went back like this, young. Turn around. Start stepping. And listen to you and mm. watch that was you back year. in the days, man. Cause, uh, and what year was that? When I first came here, man, that was was like, like, when they found me, 80, Mickey, 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 Mickey turned around and took a picture of me and turned around and told him that he found the fox. Okay. Oh, we look for that after year. Oh, man. <laughs> you know, with, I was doing my thing. You know, I had a house oh, and all that kind of stuff. And I, yeah. So you here? What uh, up, Prentice? Were you here? What's up, Brian? No, no, no. When they first felt. Same way in the building. You know, I try to keep away from the media because a little stuff did happen, and, and when I left the EU and everything like that, you know, and the tax evasion and hey, all that kind of crazy little stuff. But at the same time, you know, just like Mickey, you know, Mick, Mick, let me hear a piece of me of Chance Band. It's just like I got some air raid tapes. And everything like that. I, I listened to Mick, man, when he was, you know, with Harry and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You know, it was a lot of, you know, this is never, you never know who people been watching, man, and turn around and know their histories and they, they grew up in them, man. So, you know, it, hey, it, it's a beautiful thing when, when they turn around and t- start telling you about what you did, where you've been, and, and how you grew, and, and, and how the way that you turn around, you you know, escalated yourself right. into who you are now, man. So, when you say that you're a legend, Man, take that in heart, man. Just turn around. A lot of people look at you and love you. You feel me? You know? I get it. You're older guy like us, man. So, you know, we oh, he, put in he, our he, time. He, like, like your Hall of Famer? Yeah. He one of the guys who's up next. That's what's up. 
running together for that. It's all good, man. It's all good. Like, cause, cause, cause this guy to the left of me, the right of y'all looking. The one for you, the jungle boogie, man. Wouldn't be no heartbeat, <laughs> bro. Y'all are the first two individuals that I heard. <laughs> and when I heard you, Slim, I was just a jungle boogie, jungle boogie, jungle boogie, jungle boogie all day. So when I heard Fox Brown with Chance Man, oh. oh, I was like, oh shit, that's another one? <laughs> then I found out he was left handed. I was tight. I said, good grief. Then I finally seen him. I said, Lord have mercy. Let so, me get back in the gym. So what was you coming back out for? You know? Man, it's, well, man, oh no. Man, 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 turn around again. See what you don't realize. Got big and everything got married. And so uh, but that's nothing, nothing. I mean, you know, yeah, it, 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 it still, it still goes on. But, but uh, like when I was with you, man, turn around, you know, uh, Ben was like, man, you know, you gonna be hot, you gonna be hot. And I was like, you know, I'm a young boy. I'm like, okay, fine and everything. Well, by me being with uh, with Chance, and everything. Then turn around when I got with you, he's like, man, you you know, like you carry your own image, man. Turn around, you know, like a dark shadow. And so I'm, I'm gonna make like, I'm like, like, like your boy. So. Did image like that? Yeah, man. You know, you know, with the trench coat and the Philly haircut and the dark glasses. Yeah, you, you, never yeah. saying nothing to nobody and trying to be like uh, Larry Black, like Terminator, or some shit. You know, <laughs> you know uh, uh, got uh, uh, people standing uh, over there watching, watch me and everything. Okay, so go in there, do my thing, and walk on stage and keep on going. You know, got three people fixing up the congas and everything. Never had to touch them. Never had to pull them up. I was a butch come, just get on stage and you know. Uh, Wave my hand, that's it. So yeah, that? man. Shout keep out to keep, keep a person in the Go make you the watch him, man. So, so, uh, like, so, two weeks ago, we did like, Mickey Berkeley up here. Yeah. And Shadow. We had the Congo set up right there. We lost, I don't know, I'm taking you out doing it. Who the hell is that? That was Mickey Birthday, right? Oh, last Mickey week? Birthday? Last week. Yeah. Mickey Birthday wasn't last week. Well, two, two weeks ago. ago. Two, two weeks ago. ago. Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. The mayor. So we had the mayor of uh, yeah. T. Pleasant up here last week. The mayor. Mm. And um, that was a dynamite show too, man. It's 10 p.m. Eastern every Tuesday, man. We got to go watch. We got a host of other people watching too, man. We're gonna take a prank break real quick. Um, DJ Rick, if you don't realize what's going on right now. <laughs> it's time for swing time, man. Look, that's my number one DJ, man, over there, man. We got Bones with a picture in here. Uh, I know, I know. We I got know. my main man, Fox. Let the Fox loose, the legendary Hall of Famer up in here. Ernest Elba, the number one global report with 25,000 followers. Hmm. We got DJ Rick on the one and twos. Last but not least, man, we got two fly times. One of those legendary lead talkers, the ever gracious Texas Coco. Know your history, learn your history, and still do it, ladies and gentlemen. DJ Rick, give me something I can understand. Right back at the first.
Let me show you how to get your freak on. Already got it on, we got this. First you gotta get into the freak zone. Yeah, we'll 
see you since uh, we went down. You know what? Out of all the colleges we've been to this year, darling, you are rolled down there at North Carolina State. Yes, indeed. Uh, and uh, we told Ohio State we was going to talk about them, even though they had it on a one, you know, they, they was a... Uh, you got with any man, you just raised the level up a notch. What do you attribute that to, man? Um, can you curse the show? Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to curse. You can curse. God damn it, mother's mother. <laughs> <laughs> ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, I think it really has to do with uh, what you're trying to bring to the unit. Right. You know, if you're trying to bring, you're trying to be in the band, just to be in the band, that's fine. We're trying to be in the band and change the band, to make them sound differently. That's something different, also. Right. Uh, every band I've been into, except for the one, I never really had any control out of. Like Sean Bay's band, you never had any control out of. Yeah, you know. Okay. You know. Sean Bay's band, you never had any control out of. So I just basically did what I could. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, you did. And, um, That's it. Because, like I said, uh, it was a show we did. Hold on, look at this camera. Hey, man, hey, look at that anyway. This is go away for stuff right here. Um, one, one of the le most legendary shows I did with you, man, is when I first got with you guys. With, uh, we had on real red silk shirts and some slacks, mm -hmm. but you had on a white silk shirt. No color slacks. was the slacks. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm yeah. just asking. Yeah, I'm just asking. Say what? I wanted to go too. You know we had a oh, red slacks. I mean, I don't Let's know. Let's go. What's <laughs> <laughs> up with that, man? Oh, you gotta ask, <laughs> man. <laughs> Y'all thought that was cool, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't know, man. I'm just asking, man. Hey, look, black slacks, bro. One of the oh, okay. most, one of the most legendary <laughs> shows ever. Would you there bounce that night? Montgomery County. Yeah. Oh yeah. god. Uh, that was a legendary show, ladies and gentlemen. And um, we like I said, we had on red silk shirts, black slacks, tied on the white silk shirt, black slacks, and we tore that joint down, man. We tore that joint down. It's on YouTube too. Y'all yeah, want to go look at that joint, man? And, um, Can we pull it up on that joint on commercial? Yeah, wrong. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong. So we uh, we did our thing that night, and um, one thing I I can say about that night. Is, that's when I, I felt so much. I felt, you know, as a combo player, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm with a kick ass group right now, and we ready to bust a lot of people's asses. <laughs> <laughs> Which we actually went on to do. Okay. So we had some kind of unit back there, man. Um, I mean, we had Marcus Johnson, we played with. 
Yeah. We had to sneak Marcus out the house. Marcus was like 14. Marcus Johnson, uh, who else we had? Uh, we Fuss. had Marcus. We had, we had Fuss. We had uh, 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 Ronnie Clipper. Two. Two. Big Mo. Yeah, Big Mo. Big Mo Tony too. Shaw, Bones, Wap. With them speaks Wap. Yeah. That was a hell of a lineup, ain't it? Yeah. Mm. yeah. We, we, man, we did some damage, man. We put, it, put it like this. We was praying so hard, right? It was a, pic, a particular show that had uh, Maryland Homecoming. It was us, Big Daddy Kane, uh, 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 all the big hot, the hot BDP, all the groups mm. all the, that was hot at the time. And that day we played out in the field for the uh, for the for, um, for the college. Yeah, it was like. Yeah. And all those rap groups was out there that day. Hold on, but that night we had to play the cold field house mm. with all these rap groups. Mm -hmm. So during the day, when they seen us outside, that night all of a sudden. <laughs> Change PA. It changed the PA because yeah. the rap groups was like, how are we gonna follow behind this? Yeah. Get us close. The whole cold, <laughs> the whole cold house was like, wait, 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 wait. we just like. See, back in them times, you wouldn't even think of putting a rap on with y'all. Was was y'all thinking in in that mode? No, we didn't care. We was out. We was gonna destroy. Uh, that's what, that's the best unit we had, man, because. I mean, we had so much chemistry, and, and, and put it like this, man. And not not a lot of people get at JY like this. Mm -hmm. We was down Olderton Firehouse with JY. We opened for JY. You remember that show, JY? Mm -hmm. I. <laughs> when we left that mother on the stage, Slim. Mm -hmm. I don't care who you were. I don't put nobody come after that night, man. And. Soup, still, Soup had a, the actual video tape of that show and lost the shit in North Carolina. But it's a it's a PA tape floating around somewhere. And I'm going to get it. Oldest at Firehouse. We had Al on the board. That's when they first started the brrrr on it. Yeah. Slam. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what was Watt's position in the group? What was Sasha he doing? Sasha. Oh, he's on the side. Okay. Yeah. okay. He did some rapping too. Yeah. Sasha, we, had a, we had like an all star joint, man. Like. Mm. And then you think that you had Jeff in the front too, so you had me singing, Tony Shop singing, Jeff singing, Wob singing. We had like five part harmony on anything, you know what I'm saying? And uh, this fool right here, running the one, Tony Sh Jeff. Come on, man. Think of this front line, y'all. Bones, Lord Jeff, Tony Shop, Wob. Think about that. Just that front line alone. And him. Mm. Yeah, that was something to be reckoned with, man. 8, 10 p.m. ain't you never choosing, man. I'll be conga at rockswave.com. Sitting here with mm. the one and only legendary living legend. And um, so happy to have you here right now, brother. You going to the show Sunday, right? Yeah, I'll be there. He'll be there. Hell yeah, I'll right be there. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be there. For real. Right right I am going to host it. Then we got Chip Star going to be in there, too, man. Bounce his son. Yeah, yeah. Time. I can't wait to see nephew. Yeah. So nephew, I'm gonna hear some bars now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I think mean, we was the first show nephew was on, right? Um, but one of the first. Yeah, one of the, definitely like the first two. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Second, so I'm so proud of him, man. Chip Star gonna be in the building. And, um, we just gonna have you wanna be there though before on Sunday night? What you Sunday night. Man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna definitely crash that joint. What's up with you, Foxy, man? You trying to party with the boys? We can get together. Uh -huh. We can get together. Yeah. Uh -huh. At least half a CPU out that joint. Man. <laughs> 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 the stage, man. Yeah. Bless the slow. Bouncy already gonna be there, so. Hey, Bouncy gonna be there. Wow. You gotta be there. It's time for performing. I want my son to see it, man. You know, man. I mean, he, he grew up with me. You know, doing go but still, he was kind of like in a different. Yeah. He ain't see that era, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Bounce, you know what I think? That might be the best era ever. Mm -hmm. We ain't trying to be that. <laughs> that might be the best era you ever. Pick me up. You need to yeah, speak um, And nothing, nothing against <laughs> what's going on right now. <laughs> Karaoke. Anyway, um, back then, like, um, Woody put on a, on a joint. PC Groove was the other day. Thank you, man. As I'm listening to this, man, I, I'm, I'm like, back then, man, everybody had their own grooves. We called it grooves back then. We, we, we grooved up to the whatever. We ain't just hit a cover. Then, you know, wait a minute. Huh? You say something?
thought about in the cover tune now. Wait a minute. Or, you know, it's not like it used to be, but Woody said one thing that struck me. He said, boy, them youngins back then will fuck up a, old, a lot of older groups right now. But Woody, what you didn't realize, the younger groups back then, all the older guys, <laughs> that, that were playing back then. Mm. So, you know what I mean? But y'all weren't playing all them covers though back then. Oh, we weren't playing no. If we playing covers, we'd be one of not, not, not like it is now. Yeah, man. Nah, not like, not it, like it is now. Yeah, man. Even when they did covers, like when Cardi did Inspector Gadget, it was so powerful. It was his own. You forget, you didn't even think about the TV show. Right. You didn't, it did, that didn't pop in your head. What popped in your head was the crank. Yeah. Just the crank. Yeah. Generating so much love and energy. We done ran out of coffee. Yo, class ain't right. never getting a studio and drop an album. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <clears throat> this is the Google report, right? I mean, I don't know. I'm current, man. I mean, y'all talking about 78, 79, man. I mean, we're 80 something. I'm, 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 I'm go go point is current right now, you know. I'm learning. I'm still learning, you know. I'll get you stuff sitting in my bed for you, buddy. Okay, word. Man, they, they dropped one of the most legendary albums ever, man. Okay. Back then, we took, we took parts of songs. We, yeah. took, we took parts of songs. We didn't make a whole cover. You know, mm -hmm. like Oasis, we, when we had our band, we played, you know, the beginning of Earth, Wind & Fire, but we went straight into a, a partner mm -hmm. coming out of that joint. Well, you know what I'm saying? Like, Something like that. You know, we put it like this. Put it like this, man. Like, when they came out with Inspector Gadget and all that, man, that album, man, it was, it was radio, all day on the radio, man. Uh -huh. All day. When Central Groove came out with Special How You Do, all day on the radio, man. When 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 Petworth came out with this joint doing the WAP, all day on the radio, man. Right. No problem. When A-Ray came out with Saga to me, all day on the radio. Man. Yeah. Every, everything I just named was original. Yeah. Yeah. Meet me at the Go Go. Meet me at the Go Go. I remember that. Meet me at the Go Go. That's where that, the time that album came out. Yeah. Like that. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, I remember <laughs> that. that I was out, in the seventh grade. That, 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 <laughs> that came out before this joint. I, I know I probably heard it. I just got to hear it, but I remember that Meet Me at the Go. I used to love that joint, yeah. And, um, yeah, like, happy and, and, and I'm saying all this to say, like, this is a group called Lettuce. I don't know if y'all y'all familiar with Lettuce. Young Boogie played for them, don't Yeah, yeah so, that's, yeah. It's Jungle Boogie, yeah. He played yeah, for it's rock, rock They got a joint out right now. They be cranking. You heard that joint, Bone? And it's now <laughs> the anthem for the Washington National. Wow. These white boys. Yeah. And, and got like a, and got, it has like a go go feel to him because oh, Jungle, Bo Jungle Boogie, he playing the Congos. Not the thing about it, guess what? About this particular song, they ain't got Congos on the joint. It's cranking. It's like a trouble funk type, type feel. Mm. Okay. With no Congo. Nah, this joint right here, I wish DJ Rick had it. It's called Lettuce. It's from Lettuce. You can download YouTube it, real it quick. And I'm just saying, letting y'all know one thing, man. Like, you know, in, in 32. And, and Rabidou went on, they went on that, they had, F Facebook Live right now is the devil, y'all. So y'all y'all need to put that shit down, man. They went at each other yesterday over some stupid shit, I think, that they both could have settled amongst themselves. You know what I'm saying? But right now, man, this Facebook what, this Facebook Live stuff, man, if you're going to use it, use it to the uplifting of Go-Go. Because right, while we doing all this shit amongst each other, man, guess what? You got white boys right now that got a Go-Go song that's now the anthem of the Washington Nationals, our baseball team. Okay, so if, if that's not a wake up call, I don't know what the hell else to tell y'all. Yeah, you got people out there paying attention. It's, 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 even you got white people paying oh, attention. Oh, it is. Go go. I'm white talking about go -go we, 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 we on 495, uh -huh. arguing amongst uh -huh. each other, uh -huh. you know, and, and putting this shit on Facebook Live. Now everybody chiming in. Half of them ain't got no talent. The ones chiming in, never play, play with no bands. You got a lot of yes men in this shit. You know, saying so all they doing is catapulting this shit to another level. And you got two legends, you know, on Facebook Live. That I, I was kind of hurt by that shit yesterday, man. It kind of hurt me, man, because these two guys right here, man, has made history <laughs> together. You know, Ooh. so you know, I just don't like a lot of yes men and go go. I can't stand no yes. We knew we were gonna have it eventually, but you know, like you know, people that's you know, inconvenience or, or making convenient uh, the music now. We didn't have that back then. Yeah. We don't need, like, a uh, Wolfman. Yeah. Probably come out and do something. Mm -hmm. You know, you didn't have all these radios, so you pick it up a little bit ago, you know, like that, but, 
It's available now. I think we can go back and start doing our own shit. Well, we got to do two times. We got to go back to the original like we used to do. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like our own shit. You know, as far as you take it, <clears throat> taking somebody's um, music and, and redoing it and then putting it on the radio, I've never been a fan of that. I don't know how you do that. That shit is crazy. Uh, to me, for, huh? can, I, can I say something? How, sure. how, how can I, if I'm a videographer, how can I video that and and all these social sites that we have out here now, how can I send that out into the world? How can I do my fine editing, let everybody know who you is, let everybody know who you are, you are, you are, do all this good editing, but at the end, it's somebody else's music. Mm -hmm. It made me so mad with video on every time I would hold my camera for two hours yeah. in front of somebody, a whole show or nothing but everybody else's music, and it was cool because you get by with it. You know, if somebody came through these clubs and be like, man, you know what? You can't play none of this music unless you give us something for playing this artist's music. That'll make a lot of people go into a studio and will have to force their hand with, look here, man, let's, 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 let's put it, your troubles together, your good times together, let's make a record. Let's make a record. Let everybody put our mindset together. Let's make a record where though we can take this around the world. When I see like these young rappers that come out of nowhere, all they be having behind it is something that Gogo be having for years. A cranking beat. Yeah. A cranking beat. And then they learn they make stacks out of it. We because do. why half the music I don't understand. But they generation, they love it. And if it's generating a dollar, man, I'm all for it. Mm -hmm. When you think about it though, I mean, you can go far as back as I mean before that mm. when they was doing um with Essence playing uh we well, never saw him on um you made so has his music on like uh, being like a demo, mm -hmm. you know, like a demo. You know, then bands would come out with one, and you know, all the bands are going to do their own shit. You know, they want to come in, um, <clears throat> they want to come in um, a studio and record to go. You know, out here in California, they right, record right, for the now, for here. right, right, right. You know, DC Mountain Machine, that's what we record for. Now we have companies now who can. Take the um, take the uh, the mix that you're doing now on the radio and push it to California. But then just beats, you know, it's just simple beats. Right. And, and one thing I hate that I did, man, and somebody told me this one day. When I started at that damn upbeat with Chuck Brown mm. on that grown and sexy, mm. it was the upbeat. Man, everybody took it around with. Because all night, when I started playing that, it's like the roll call beat, which what I did, I incorporated the violence with it. You know what I'm saying? But you kept that. You know, I don't know why I did that to a pop said, Son, play that shit every uh, whole show. Oh shit. He wanted that shit the whole show. Now all the grown and sexy jumps, you know, excluding Mickey and, 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 and Sauce and, and, and Smoke, whatever. Them grown and sexy jumps, it's, it's like one beat the whole night. The whole night. One beat, man. Excluding you too, uh, Bouncy. Bouncy got his own shit going on. And um, my thing is with GoGo now, mm -hmm. it's, it's like. What'd you get? Why, like I said before, we need to get a chair. So why we're you know? why we're bickering amongst each other? Like I said, a bit. Get one all these so-called, you know, and fragments and, and, and beats, or whatever. I'm letting y'all know now. What belongs to us ain't gonna belong to us no more. We already got the Washington Go Go's. Now we got the pro basketball team. The Washington Go Go's. Well, well I like to, I like to say something. As far, as, far yeah. as um, like you said, the beats. I mean, the double is always working. Mm -hmm. I love I love all musicians that get out there and do their thing. Um, man, I, you know, when I went into the studio, man, I turned around, and put down uh, a beat on wax. Right. Um, the Cabbage Patch. Yeah. When I, when I did that. Um, DJ Cool. Yeah, turn the music up. He, 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 he started that and delayed it. It mm -hmm. had it running. So I'm saying? Made a hit out of it. Right? Okay, when I say the devil's always working, they wanted me to turn around and holler at that man about that because that beat is on wax and it's on paper. Yeah. And uh, it was never asked, can you do that or anything like that. Um, I said, no, nah, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't, uh, no, no, all of us, we doing, I think, if he made a hit over it, okay, fine. 
I mean, no, I mean, he's trying to go against this man. I mean, you know, this man, he's, he's, he's doing his thing. He's, he's a talker. He's, a, he's, a, he's, he's on the but, mic. But let me say something But about he that. putting music together, and as long as I can keep on hearing it, I'm fine with that. Okay, I, I don't care. I don't care. Too, I don't care. At the same care. time, that beat was the main part of that record. Yeah, it was. But me, somebody should have reached out to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, yeah. you shouldn't have to went to nobody. Yeah, you play it at the go-go. I don't care. But turn around, <coughs> and you turn around and put it and put it on wax and and and, and make money off of it because it was yeah. hit. So but, but you still, at the end of the day, you deserve you you deserve and and that's something that we. Like I, I look at a lot of y'all. Interviews. One of my interviews. I look at a lot of y'all. Y'all y'all don't give yourself the credit that y'all deserve. Man, y'all discredit yourself so much or whatever. You know it don't make no sense. When Chuck Brown wasn't the only legend. Yeah. In this town, right. y'all created this music. Y'all created a sound. So all of y'all, man, if you really look back at this genre of music, all y'all are really legends or whatever. Because you take, with like when he just asked, man, who was that on the Congos or whatever? Man, that's Nicky Barnes combined with a lot of all y'all beats that he didn't heard for years, listening to. If you yeah. sit down and talk to some of the young Congo players, man, bro, y'all, you will be amazed at really how people really feel about y'all. You don't know all these dudes, you know what I mean? You don't know all these dudes in, in music who didn't watch y'all, who didn't sing y'all playing or whatever, they really look up to y'all or whatever, they really feel as though, man, y'all legends, and they will really thank y'all because y'all the reason why they got somewhere to play. Some of the times that they do have times to play, like Friday, Fridays and Saturdays or whatever, y'all are legends to these dudes, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, young man. Thank you. Yeah, Take it from somebody who only listens to music. Right. Yeah, she ain't never leave out. Yeah. So the first time I saw Heartbeat was a video of their reunion. And I told him, who's the guy on Congos? We got to get him the black one. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and when I first met him, he told me he was tidy. And I'm like, okay, so who are you? Right. My name is Tyrone. Yeah, didn't know I didn't know anything about class. The first time I heard class was last year. Okay. So, when you all talk about legends, I know him from when he played. Mm -hmm. I seen you in the video, and I had to have you. Him, he didn't know who he was. He was just this guy I met. Right. But then once I heard what he did, right. I was like, oh, I heard that when I was growing up. Right. It triggered mm. a memory. Mm hmm but it was something that I remember. Now, with these bands today, I don't know much about them. Yeah. Just like my wife. Mm -hmm. uh, she, she know me as Gennaro Fox, okay, but she never seen me play, okay. Uh, I showed Still? Her, I saw that video thing of me, yeah. Okay, I took up martinis. I took up martinis and uh, Bell seen me and do do this so they're like, oh man, you can't go the way, man. You gotta play, you gotta play, you gotta play. Like that, and I told my wife stand to the side and watch this. So when I got up, I got up there and played. She was like, "I ain't know you know how to do all of that kind yeah. of stuff." Like that, right? Huh? Oh, wow. no, because I wanted, I wanted to have somebody. Look, I wanted to have somebody that liked me for Gennaro, not mm -hmm. Foxy Brown, because turn around, you know, a lot of stuff come with that. I mean, yeah. man, you must have had a lot of girls, and I can't trust you. Uh, because it all had to come down the line. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, so my queen, I wanted to get her to know me for me. And then I think, well, this Foxy Brown guy. Yeah. I mean, don't get it wrong. I love Foxy Brown guy. Mm -hmm. You know, I love him ever since I was fucking 12 years old. <laughs> you know, but uh, you know, reality kick in. Mm -hmm. When you tell him I have to go home. It's not Foxy Brown no more, it's Gennaro. I love it, man. Uh, like in my yeah. job, man. I, one, one of the reasons I like my job, because I'm Jose there all day. Jose. But guess what you gotta love? When when you know that you got a little Mexican in When you when you've created an image out <laughs> when you when you create an image out here that people love and people respect. Like you know what I mean? <laughs> an image people that they love and respect that when you go home you know how to separate the two. Right, yeah. You right. You right, man. Long ago you had all this in you, man. What? All that, that knowledge, man. Oh, yeah. man. That's the big picture, man. Yeah. You done, done sit behind this camera and this show numerous times. And that's just can hold it on with anybody. Anybody. Yeah, I just, I just love, you know, me, I love video on y'all because 
Man, bro, y'all, so, sometimes I don't, I don't, man, I don't think y'all know what y'all got sometimes, man. Then when I, and I sit back and sit on camera later on, like, I, don't, I just was watching a video of you the other day. Real talk, the other day. Man, Tricky Rick announcing y'all. You know what I mean? I mean, I got, I got some video footage with some cold legends on them, man. I got Johnson, you with, uh, you on the Congos, man. All y'all, when y'all play the fast edits or whatever, I got this in my archive. I don't care if don't none of y'all see it. I know <laughs> I got it. <laughs> All day long. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Well, That's just something. Mm. Yeah. And bring your video camera. Yeah, be Put something. it back That'd be down. a good look, man. Yeah. That'd hey, y'all, man. We're sitting here, man. We having a good time. A nice, intimate discussion, man. Our brothers here. And um, it's all about love on this show anyway. And um, good to see my, my my little brother here, Bones, the big picture, man. Oh, man. I put out, I put out an ATV for him. Man, I'm gonna tell you, I, I I got a phone call. I had just talked to Nikki Bonds probably three days ago, and as soon as you said something on Facebook or whatever, uh, he called me. He said, "Man, you you all right?" I said, "Why you say that?" I said, "We just talked the other day." He said, "Man, I'll be looking for you." I said, "Man, let me call him or whatever." <laughs> and then I, that's when I uh, well, I put it on Facebook. Yeah, that's when anybody uh, see the big picture, Bo Simmons. Mm. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I didn't, you know what I'm about? I, I, I was like, I was like that too, but the days went on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of. You know what? I, I, I took, I took a break because I got, I got tired of saying what I was saying with video. On. Got you know it. what I mean? I'm saying everybody, I'm, I'm saying people, vi I'm, I'm saying people with my camera, putting so much emphasis on somebody else's song when they singing it, man. I mean, it's burning me up when I'm watching it or whatever. I'm like. If you can just sit down and put that much creativity in something that's yours, mm -hmm. that you can own. Shouts out. Man. Shouts out to Wizard man. Speaks, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. What about Wap, it? man? Original, man. Yeah. Original. Yeah, you got that. Original. Yeah, why? It's totally really? different, man. It's mm -hmm. totally different. Right now? Yeah. I ain't checking my thing. It was not original. It wasn't original. Oh, yeah. Everything they played was original. Yeah. It wasn't original. I feel Wapping, <coughs> they really underappreciated, though. Man, man, yes. They really underappreciated. Because, like, when I went to go see him, I checked them at Merlin Live. Even though they sound good and the stuff they were playing, I was like, I ain't never heard this. You know, I ain't, you know, it sounds good, but, you know, once you hear something and you're used to hearing something, that's when you get a feel to it. But if it's new, you really, like, shy away from it. So they don't really, they don't really get as much and credit like, as like, they deserve. Like if I had a dollar for Eric Gogo Band to hit this Cardi B song, mm. you know? I haven't heard, heard this. Cardi B. Yeah, hey dog, it's like with Gogo now, it's like the cranking his bands got to hit the cranking his covers. Man, yeah, why, why, why is okay. it? Why is it every cranking band? You got two of them playing the same song. All of them. It don't make sense to me though. It don't make sense. So how y'all gonna play the same show when y'all just play what they do? <coughs> but different bands play it different though. I mean like if you get familiar playing a certain song and get another band playing it, it's it's a different sound. Right, it's just right. a, a totally different sound. You know? Okay, so it's like this then. It ain't, it ain't about recording any songs no more, right? You trying to shoot it out to the masses to keep this to keep this go go worldwide, to get to, to bring it to the masses national level, because you can't do that. But the simple fact is if you spend the, the next three years just playing covers and not devoting any time to making something that the world can dance to. Yeah. Well. You, you, you job like burning rubber. Yeah. yeah. You know, I feel you. Wasting yeah. gas. I feel you. Burning you rubber. Yeah. You burning rubber. I've been, I've been saying that. What are, you all, what are you in this for? Actually, actually make your own product. Got, you gotta that's why in our product. era, and, and they call us old heads and all that, what's so funny to me, y'all call us old heads, but set some congles up. You know, I, I'm still going to burn them motherfuckers up. That's one thing about us. That's number one. Number two uh -huh. is our main intent and focus was when Central Group came out, man, we was number two on Billboard right behind Candy Ray. That's how you do it. For three weeks. We was on Billboard. Google that shit. Okay? Mm. We was in high school, ninth, tenth grade. Didn't know what we had. Had a record deal. Limos coming to get us every day. Our manager, Rob, was blind. But hey, it is what it is. We learned experience. Mm. But, like, Class came out with their album. Petworth came out that album. Everybody came. Everybody had albums. Man, Red and the Boys moving the group. They had to make. They made a movie off that shit. Mm -hmm. Yep. But if you look at what, okay, if you look, what, what you just said, they made a movie off of. Max Kidd. If you look at the ideas and all these brothers that have cameras now, all these different videographers, photographers, or whatever, 
man, we pull together, man. It, it, it's amazing yeah. what minds could do. You know, we stronger together than apart or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, you know what, Bones? It's so funny that, and what's going to happen, but I, I ain't going to let it happen because I'm, I'm putting something together now. But what's going to happen is while we fighting amongst each other about who going to play first and who going to close the show in 495, you got these, you got group cut like lettuce. They're going to be on world tours. You got another uh, a group out here. You got a group in, you got about four groups in North Carolina. You got one go go, go group in Texas. You got one in Atlanta. You got one in Connecticut. They're going to be on world tours with something that this city had been created because we weren't about who's going to play first or second mm -hmm. and close the show. Mm -hmm. yeah. And can I say something? Can I say something? Friday, Saturday night, I played, I, I DJed a 50, uh, a 50 year old party. Now, let me say this. He came to me and asked me, he said, Rick, can you play all go-go the last hour? I bust that ass that last hour, and guess what I played? Everything in our earth. I didn't play not one thing in this earth because everything we played back then had that, that uh. And when I say I went from junkyard to rare essence, I even, I even played a little, uh, 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 the cabbage patch. Uh, EU cabbage patch, and they was they was in there doing the cabbage patch. Yep. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and that goes to show you, you know, from our from our era, man. Even the youngest was in there getting it in. Mm. And it, it goes to show you, man, that right, right. our era, we we have it, we have it. You know, and if they bring it back, we will always have it. We need it back. Yeah. We need it back. Yeah. It's just an example. Tickets online. Mm -hmm. everybody you can what pay at the door. Tickets. Hit me up on Facebook or Tidy. Mm -hmm. Tyrone. Um, on Facebook. <laughs> we're going to have a good time. We're celebrating life, not just a birthday. You all know he's been through some stuff. Yeah. And we almost didn't have him here, so we're going to make sure he's Love you, man. I'm glad you're here, boy. My brother. Love you, Love you boy. Got me easy, man. Hey, look, man. Tidy. We see you Sunday night. We love you. One more time for the legend, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Ray, we look like you, Ray. Let him know, let him know I'm hosting that.